This video will provide a simple overview of setting up the O2D, IFM's error-proofing sensor, using the Effector Dualis parameter setting software. Here we will cover adjusting the image, defining the contour, assigning outputs, and finally testing the application. The software is available from the IFM website at www.ifm.com us vision. Many more features are available in the software than will be covered in this video, and you can learn about them from the software's help menu. If you need assistance connecting your O2D to your computer, please see the Setting a Static IP Address video from the link below. To begin, launch the software, click Connections in the menu bar, and select IP Address. The default address of the sensor is automatically listed under New Sensor. Click Connect, and the sensor will appear with a list of empty folders in the Applications panel. On the sensor itself, the display will read ONLI to indicate that it is online and connected to the software. Select one of the folders and click New to program a new application. A box will appear asking you to name the application. In this example, we'll name it Good vs. Bad Washer. Click OK and the image quality screen will be displayed. You'll notice the readout on the O2D display has changed to PARM meaning that it is now accepting parameter instruction from the software. The first step in adjusting the image will be to focus the camera. With a target object placed within view of the O2D, use the supplied screwdriver to turn the screw on the back panel of the O2D housing, bringing the object into focus. In the image quality screen, select Extended Options. You'll see that in this example, the image is a bit too bright, meaning the exposure time is too high. This can be easily adjusted with the exposure time slider. Adjust the exposure until you see a good definition of the contours and click Next. In the Model Definition screen, adjust the Model Definition zone so it will encompass the entire area where the contour would fall. In the Extended Options tab, the sensitivity and contour smoothing of the camera can be set. Low sensitivity is adequate for general shape detection. The higher the sensitivity is set, the greater the amount of detail detected. The contour smoothing setting determines how tightly the contour will be followed. The contours indicated in green represent the included test contours, as listed on the right. Any excluded contours are shown in blue. When you are confident that the included contours are sufficient to verify a good part, click Next. Due to the fact that the model's contours are circles, we get a message to select a suitable detection method. Clicking OK will automatically open the Orientation and Symmetry panel. For this application, the default setting will be adequate. In the Parameters panel, you can adjust the tolerance width of the contours, indicated in yellow in the sensor's image area. Adjust the tolerance to allow for any variance that would still allow a part to be considered passable. Notice the default setting for minimum match is 80%. By placing a typical bad part for this application in the sensing area and clicking Test Model, we see that a defective washer still matches more than 80% of the good washer's contour. To allow for this, I'll set the minimum match to 90%. When we click Test Model again, we see that the test failed. Replacing the good part and testing it again verifies that a bad part will fail the test while the good part passes. Depending on your application, the calculation time displayed in the panel to the right could be a factor. Here you can see that our calculation time is fairly long at almost 50 milliseconds. In the sensing area image, there is a blue line surrounding the image that indicates the area being searched for the target. By reducing that area, we can decrease the calculation time considerably. Click the Next button and you will be asked to name your model. In the Process Interface screen, the binary inputs and outputs can be viewed and customized. Many options exist for configuring the inputs and outputs of the O2D. Please see the Help menu for more information. Click Next to accept the default settings and we can move on to set up the trigger. The trigger, usually either a photo eye or a PLC, will tell your O2D when to take an exposure. Under Trigger Type, 
we will select Positive Edge, meaning that a photo eye will trigger the O2D when an object first comes into the photo eye's sensing area, as opposed to Negative Edge, which would trigger the O2D when an object leaves the sensing area. The final step is to perform an overall function test, which must be completed before the application can be saved. With our good part in place, click the Test Application On button. A message will be displayed to inform you that other functionality of the software will be disabled during the test. Click Release Trigger and the O2D will take an exposure. Replace the good part with a failed part and click Release Trigger a second time. With both a positive and negative test verified, deactivate the test with the Off button. Click Next and save your application. You will see that your folder in the list is now green meaning it contains the currently running application. When disconnecting the O2D from the software, be sure to select Disconnect from the Connections menu. That completes the basic setting of the O2D. For more information, please visit ifm.com US.